Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you are clicking on this video for the first time, hello, my name is Sammy and this is Unicorn Dust Designs. Today we are hopping into a brand new fall DIY video. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off using this salvage piece of wood. It's already on wheels, it's awesome. This was in my last Thrifted Thursday, if you did not watch it, definitely take a look i'll link it up above so it took me like an hour to get that dang string off but after i was done i cleaned the entire thing up and then i decided to go ahead and take big top and clear the entire piece of wood it was really old it was dirty and gritty so i cleaned it off the most i could but i didn't want to like sand or anything because i wanted to keep it looked like there was a yellowish kind of paint on there at one time and I didn't want to ruin any of that but I didn't want to take the chance of my transfers not adhering to the wood so that is why I decided to take the big top and go ahead and clear it so after this we are going to grab grab our IOD transfers and this one they're called painterly I think um tons if you're a beginner with transfers this one is going to be perfect has so many pieces on it so i'm going to start off by taking the pieces of lavender and i was able to basically use two pieces out of one stem on this and i'm gonna use this the lavender as almost like a backdrop for the sunflowers and then um, all I'm doing is taking that transfer and I am scraping on top or pushing it down as I'm lifting the transfer sheet up. So you could see right here, it's going on effortlessly and I'm gonna wrap that around the entire piece of wood. So I'm showing you this side because there are so many grooves in this thing, but you can see how the transfers are still catching and all of those surfaces and sticking off, like I was going to say awesomely. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to take some of the sunflowers and I'm going to overlap my transfer on top of some of that lavender on this side. I'm also going to grab two more and I'm going to put one on the top and I'm going to go around the curve of that piece of wood. So all I'm going to do is lay my wood on its side and then I'm gonna bend that transfer so it doesn't break and just keep on pushing down and peeling up on that carrier sheet. Always make sure that you burnish your transfers by rubbing that carrier sheet on to your transfer. Now I'm gonna take a stem on one of them and have it look like it's coming up from the side and then like laying on the top and you just layer that on top of each other and it looks so beautiful. This is a great fall piece that can be used all year long, but sunflowers scream fall to me. And now I'm just finishing it off by applying another coat of clear, or sorry, of big top. You could also use clear wax as well, but I really wanted this to be durable. So somebody could set whatever they wanted on it um, like a plant things like that so i chose that and this is how it turned out i am so happy with it my husband was convinced it was going to sit in the garage forever but check me out love these transfers they're very easy to use the pieces of lavender i think add that extra detail around the sides and those sunflowers just look water painted they're absolutely gorgeous let me know what you think of this salvage wood flip for fall i personally love it our next one is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy i am taking this thrifted frame and i absolutely love it but we need to give it new life so i'm taking summer crush and i told you all this is going to be one of my fall colors so make sure you grab some of it and i am going to give this two coats on each side the front and the back with the summer crush this color we do have fire starter and fire starter is going to be your brighter orange and then summer crush is like your deep orange it's so beautiful um right now i'm just taking a wet 
paintbrush and I am just rubbing it over that paint to get it off of my hardware. DIY paints are water soluble, so just put a little water on there. They reactivate and you can easily wipe it off. I have legit spilled paint on my wall and have gotten a wet cloth and have totally been able to wipe it up. So after that, I'm going to, I decided to apply Big Top because I wanted to deepen that orange color just a tad bit. So I'm gonna apply that to the entire frame, the front, the back, and the sides. I'm gonna let that completely dry. And then I'm going to take my finger sander and sand some of those edges. Now, this was like an MDF material, so it didn't sand down to the wood. It kind of turned yellow, but I wasn't mad about it. All right, this is where you guys are gonna be like, what are you doing? I am taking printer paper and I'm taking the glass piece and tracing it out. I did not have any cardstock on hand to actually like decoupage the decoupage paper onto. So I figured, you know what? We are gonna improvise. So I am taking regular printer paper. I cut it down to size, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to my Roy Cycled decoupage paper. I do carry Roy Cycled papers on my website now. I am sold out of this one, but I did um, order more along with all of the other fall and Christmas papers. So hopefully that gets here soon. Once that's cut out, just like a picture, I am literally just putting the decoupage paper in there, the white piece of paper so that our decoupage paper still pops, and then sliding everything back in. And you literally would never know by looking at it that I didn't actually decoupage it to any kind of surface. So I'm gonna pop that in and that's it. I know you've probably seen this done before, but you know what? I had it in my stash. I loved it. You could even put stems. If you have a double-sided frame like this, you could put stems and turn these into pumpkins as well. But I truly love the simplicity and I wanted the focus to be on these beautiful decoupage images and not the frame. All right, hopping back in to see how you are enjoying this video. You guys, all of the paint products that you see in my videos, you can find on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. And most times I post my upcycles as well for sale. And I also resell thrifted items. So that link is gonna be in the description box for you guys to check out. And you all know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you're digging the channel, then make sure to like, and subscribe. Turn on the bell to all so that you are notified every time I post a video. And I wanted to remind you guys, talk is ticking. So let's make some decisions. We have For the Love of Junk weekend coming up, the weekend of September 15th. And we only have a handful of tickets left. It is gonna be such a fun time hopping in a party bus, going thrifting together. Then we get to upcycle together. We're gonna to have dinners together. It is gonna be such a fun time, such a fun experience. These are gonna be like the most amazing memories ever. We also had Cricut. Thank you so much, Cricut. They are giving us a Cricut Maker 3 for a giveaway for everybody that purchases a For the Love of Junk weekend ticket. So I am so excited. Thank you so much Cricut for sponsoring a little giveaway for our amazing people attending the event. And you guys, with that said, let's go ahead. Oh, and the event tickets are down in the description box. So click that link and let's go ahead and get right back into these fall DIYs. This gorgeous piece has been in my stash for well over two years and I saw it and was like, I could do something with this. So the bottom obviously is open. So I couldn't use that part for a pumpkin, but the top, I was like, we can make this work. But the little, there's like a little pointed piece right on the top, but I'll show you how we, we get around that. So I am taking cherry picked, which is this deep, rich, beautiful, dark purple maroonish color. I don't know. It's fabulous though. I fell in love with it after one of my videos. I am going to paint the entire thing. I'm going to do a messy coat to start off covering the entire piece, getting into all those nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to come back in and I am just going to stipple on a second coat in case I missed any, like if any glass was showing. 
So you can see right here, once it dried, I could see that there was little pieces still peeking through. So I just stippled over those areas to cover them up. And then after I'm done, I'm gonna let this completely dry. And I'm gonna grab my big top once again, and I am going to put that over. So you can see how beautiful this color dries down. And if you like it that color, then I recommend using clear wax because your big top is going to deepen the color a little bit. So I let that completely dry. And then I take this leftover like spindle I took off of, I think they were legs or something. And what I'm gonna do, because like I said, it has that pointed top on it. I am going to drill a hole into that spindle. That way it sits on top of that little pointed feature on the top of this, uh, what is this called? Like a light fixture? It's for lights. I know that. I don't know what it's called, you guys. We're going to just call it a pumpkin. All right. So now I'm going to get that spindle and I am going to paint it in layered chocolate, but it was a little too dark for me. So I ended up getting um, faded burlap and just dry brushing over that while it was still a little wet and that lightened it up perfectly for my liking. After that was done, <laughs> you guys, so I tried wood glue, I tried Gorilla Glue, but I had drilled down into that spindle so far that the little pointed glass piece wasn't touching anything. So I had to end up going back in and filling it with, you could see I'm like, uh, nope it's not touching anything. So I grabbed my glue gun. Well, first I, you could see, I grabbed the Gorilla Glue thinking that was gonna work. And I was like, no. So I had to end up filling it with a bunch of hot glue, <laughs> okay? All right, so now I'm taking these berry, uh, wired berries, I get these from Dollar Tree, and then I just twisted them around a marker, and now I'm going to put it around the stem and glue them to the stem. So not the glass piece, but the wood piece and that adheres perfectly. I put one on the other side. You guys, we can make pumpkins out of anything, let me tell you. I'm also gonna add some of these leaves. I thought that they looked viney. Obviously they don't look exactly like pumpkin leaves, but does this look exactly like a pumpkin? No. So I am going with whatever I'm vibing. So I hot glue that to the side as well. Then I'm like, okay, I have to cover all of this stuff up, you know, that I put around the stem. So I grabbed this, I'm gonna call it netted ribbon from Dollar Tree. I don't know what it's called. Comment down below if you know what it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that. Well, I'm gonna adhere it to the stem with some hot glue. Then I'm going to tie it up and then I'm going to place a knot in here. I'm going to cut the excess of this ribbon off and I'm just going to crisscross it and tie it off with some twine. I also cut the ends off just so it's a little bit shorter and we are gonna hot glue that right to the front. And this ensures that like all of that, you know, the twine, not the twine, you guys, the beaded garland and all the stuff I put around is nice and covered. And I personally love how it turned out. It's different. And like I said, literally during fall, I think we all know we can find anything to turn into pumpkins. And this was a great way of taking an old piece of my stash and turning it into new fall home decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an amazing start to your week. And I cannot wait to show you more fall DIYs. Bye y'all. Those doors killing me, killing me, killing me, killing me, killing me softly, killing me softly. We won't, we won't, we don't want to get in trouble, right? Ooh, that was a mouthful. <laughs>